A big topic for us of late with regards to why my rated Berkshire Hathaway is the company's growing cash hoard and the changes it could produce in capital allocation decisions longer term. With the firm expected to generate five to $10 billion in quarterly free cash flows going forward and valuations for both public and private businesses elevated, we envision Berkshire surpassing the $150 billion balance sheet cash threshold CEO Warren Buffett said would be difficult for him to defend longer term. As we see it, Berkshire has five uses for its cash, acquisitions, stock investments, capital expenditures, share purchases, and dividends. On the acquisition front, we see some deals that the firm could do in the near term, including wide moat rated Colgate Palmolive and John Deere, that would meet the criteria Buffett looks for in standalone businesses. We also expect Berkshire to be a consolidator in the utilities energy segment once prices get more attractive. The problem for Berkshire, though, is that it needs to continuously do sizable deals to keep cash from building up on its balance sheet, something it has had little success doing in the past 10 years. While the company has put some capital to work in common stocks of late, there are limits to what Berkshire can do with equities owing to the size of its $200 billion stock portfolio. As for capital expenditures, we don't believe Berkshire will get the same level of relief from its capital intensive businesses that it has in the past, with both Berkshire Energy and BNSF coming off abnormally high levels of capital spending. This really leaves share purchases and dividends as the only way for Berkshire to meaningfully reduce its cash balances in the near term. Despite having a share purchase program in place though, Berkshire has not brought back any stocks since December 2012. This has been due to the fact that the company's shares rarely trade below 1.3 times book value, let alone the 1.2 times book value per share threshold required for the company to start buying back stock. Even if Berkshire were to lift the company's share purchase threshold perhaps to 1.3 times or higher, it is likely that the perceived floor that exists under Berkshire's shares would be raised as well. So failing to find opportunities to put a large chunk of its growing cash hoard to work before it reaches $150 billion, and unwilling to buy back shares at a higher price to book threshold, Berkshire may have no choice but consider using a special one-time dividend to return capital to shareholders. While Buffett came out against this at the company's annual meeting this year, we think that he has paid himself into a corner here, and that absent a rundown of cash balances, he may be left with no choice but to return some capital to shareholders via a special one-time dividend in the near to medium term.